Hi there, good afternoon. Um, I got my short story box today, um, my first one of January 2021. So let's show you some things. First of all, I got my little um, directions, price sheet, and my short story. Um, the stylist, her name is Kat. She says, Happy New Year and welcome to chapter six of your short story. So my sixth box from short story. Non-distressed, high-waisted jeans were unavailable this time around, but I'll keep an eye out. These and petite athleisure, for these and petite, petite athleisure items. In the meanwhile, how do you like these petite absolution jeans? I'm also sending the Abtec ankle pants when you feel like a change of pace from blue jeans. I made sure to size down in both since you mentioned the sizing for democracy in the past. To keep you cozy during these colder months, style the colored pants with the classic striped sweater. They instant, instantly elevate your look with tan block heel booties. While you don't normally do florals, how do you like this smaller, subtle floral print of the button-down shirt? Two pieces have run small for some clients, so I'll love your feedback on this. Okay, so she said our faux wrap top, um, petite crop jeans, which I'm not really much for crop jeans. If I'm so short, sometimes they make me look even shorter, so we'll have to give them a try. Um, there's a, a striped sweater. I'm not much for stripes since I look a little wider right now. Uh, there's some ankle pants. I'll have to look at that. The color looks similar to a pair of um, athletic pants that they sent in a previous box, or maybe it was from Petite Ave. I can't remember. Um, and then a printed down shirt that she mentioned in floral. Um, a lot of times button down shirts don't agree with my size, so we will see. All right, so the first thing I pulled out were these um, democracy crop jeans. Now, there's no distressing on them, but they are like weathered or, you know, faded in places. I prefer darker washes generally, but we will give these a try. Now, they were cuffed at the bottom, but I uncuffed them because actually if I uncuff them and they look like they may me full length on me since I am extremely short and usually use like between a 25 and 26 inseam. So we'll give those a shot. I also got my referral card and my envelope to return whatever I don't like or don't want to keep. Put that there. First thing folded and it's always so nicely small and folded. I don't never can get it folded that nicely. Okay, so this is a little floral. Um, the company Skies Are Blue, and it is in a petite. It has a pocket in the front right here, buttoned down all the way. The sleeves have the roll tab, which I'm fine with. I know a lot of people do not like that. Um, I don't have a problem with it. Um, it is very cute. It's like little white daisies with yellow centers in it. You probably can't really see that too well. But um, it's cute. It does look small. It, it says, a, I'm afraid that, yeah, it, I don't think this is going to work. Although it would be cute if it did. So, But we'll give it a try. I might not be able to button it. Okay. This is like a dark forest green by Petite Principal. I don't know, did I mention that blouse before that I just showed you the print blouse is by Skies Are Blue? Okay, this is Petite Principle. Um, I don't know if it might fall open. It's just stitched at the bottom, but it's a nice knit material, long sleeves, very pretty color. Um, I think I would probably, well, without trying it, I don't know for sure, but I probably would have to put a cami or a tank under that so it doesn't like fall open. It wouldn't come undone, it would just <laughs> come open in the front. Okay, the striped sweater that they mentioned in the letter is by Cielo, designed in California, okay. Just a basic, nothing to write home about. Just like a tan and white striped. I mean, it's cute, I don't generally like stripes on my 
frame since I'm a little too wide right now without stripes accentuating it. But it's a round neck, long sleeves. So we'll see what works and what doesn't. And the last item are the pants. And they're also by Democracy. So she sent me two, piece, two pieces of Democracy, which I love Democracy. And this is the color, what do they call it? Um, well, that sure doesn't help. Malbec. <laughs> what is Malbec? M-A-L-B-E-C. Has anyone heard of that color? It's... Uh, Kind of a cross between a brown and a burgundy. I'm not quite sure. And my lighting here, I really don't know what color that is. I'm assuming it's brown, if she's talking about the tan sweater. Although it looks more purple when I put it on that. Hmm. She said those pants... the classic striped sweater, but looking at those two colors together, I'm not quite sure about that. But the color, I could wear cream or black with it or some kind of a print if I figured out what color this was. <laughs> I've done that before with navy and black where I think something is black and I get outside in the light at work or whatever and I'm supposed to wear black at work and I realize it's like a dark navy blue. So I think I did that years ago too when I used to be in banking and uh, had two suits exactly the same color, same brand and everything is identical. One was black and one was a dark navy blue. Um, it still went okay because, you know, blue and black is okay together, but it was not the intention. So anyway, um, I have a trunk club that I also got today, and I'll have to show you those items at another time. So I'll try these on, and I'll um, get back with you and let you know what works. Okay, thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.